I cannot believe this. I didn't even realize today was the 10th of January. I don't get excited about the whole New Year's thing because this is just a portion what I've been dealing with for the last 10 days. Taxes. They have literally consumed every moment of our free time. <sighs> And I don't even know why they call it a New Year's, because if you ask me, that doesn't seem to be a, like a New Year. Like you're celebrating the New Year when everything is dead, it's cold, it's rainy, it's nasty. Like March is, if you ask me, you know, springtime, everything is blooming out. It's starting to get warm again. It seems like everything's becoming new. So to me, my New Year's more March 1st. Yours may be in the middle of winter. That's up to you, but I don't know. I just don't like participating in things the way they are anymore. Maybe we'll have to talk about this on the next podcast. Can I help you? Okay. Okay, what do you want? Can I see the brush, please? No. What's up? He just got done brushing his teeth, and he sprayed some leave-in conditioner in his hair. <laughs> he got the brush. What's up, bud? What are you getting ready to do? You're going to Mamaw's house? Yeah. I got. I got. What? What? <laughs> She's full of drama. I want to play a game. I know you want to play a game. Maybe after Mamaw. We got to run to the tag office, too. We. You must have a mouse in your pocket. We got to go get propane. I was just telling them that I don't like to participate in the system. Well, Sean, we all know that, but so, you know what? But, we got to get the tags on her. Okay, but that's your wheelhouse. Okay. You can handle that. I told you, it comes to taxes and tags and stuff on cars. I, I, I check out. I can't stand any aspect of it. Bubba, you're going to be like me, ain't you? Mamaw's house. Mamaw's house, you ready to go? Did he tell you guys it's supposed to be seven and degrees? Mamaw's Seven degrees next week. Not only is it supposed to be seven degrees, but it's supposed to be rain, ice, snow, snow, snow for like four or five days. Now whether it's a lot or not, a little bit of snow here in eastern Kentucky, four or five inches, really shuts things down. Like our road here, there's one spot of the road that I know y'all have probably seen it in some of the videos when we was farther down, but there's like moss growing in the road. It gets absolutely no sunlight whatsoever any time during the day, spring, summer, fall, winter. When it snows and the ice forms, you cannot get that hill coming up to the house in the little area. There's like a hill that goes up and it comes down and curves around and when it you go up, that gets no sunshine all the way around that curve. So just a couple inches of snow, it literally shuts us down. So we really have to, when it calls for these, I'll just clip it right here. When it calls for these, we gotta get ready because if we don't, we get stuck up in here. But no matter what, I got the side by side, so we ain't completely stranded. I have to, I take the side by side out to go get some groceries. All right, bub. Mamma said 11 o'clock, you can come down her house. That sound good? <laughs> Mamma said 11, so when the little hand gets on the 11. When this one right here gets to the 12. <laughs> that sound good? Yeah. What about you, Flossie Mae? I don't know, Mommy smells it too. You farted. Daddy, it's not. Y'all, I can tell you, I ain't looking forward to none of this. Supposed to get down to like eight degrees next week. So I need to get a jump start on getting some propane around here and some grub. That ought to do us for now. You see, this is where a lot of people mess up. They know bad weather's coming, but they don't prepare for it. They wait to the last minute, and that's when you go out and you try to get, you know, a gallon of milk or a loaf of bread, and they ain't none in the town nowhere. It's happened around here with gas, too. You go to get some propane, because I like always making sure I got one tank to where I can use the grill or the Blackstone. That way I can cook 
regardless if there's power or not. Well, you know, go out to get that extra tank just for that, and there'd be no propane. You know, maybe a two of the three places. These people's like, oh gosh, it's going to get cold. We better go get it now. I, I'd rather just have it. That way, if it hits early, you're good to go. Was you talking to me? No, I wasn't talking to you. What? I was talking to them. What are you saying? I'm saying it's going to get cold next week. It is. Seven degrees is cold. I just told her heat pump don't do what it done last year. Well, it's under warranty this year. You guys overlook my Godzilla size sit I had on my lip it would have to pop up on my lip wouldn't it I have been layering the chapstick on hard if y'all are shaking forgive me this camera's heavy but I've had to layer the chapstick on hard and it's clogging up my pores how are you guys hope everybody survived the holidays and had a good holiday with their family did you just jack the microphone from I did what if we do rock paper scissors for who's going in the courthouse oh no I'm not going in Come on, my seat warmer's on, my butt's nice and warm. This is it's cold. Your... Since you're not going in, you're gonna drop me off right at the front doors. Listen, <laughs> this camera, hold on. Let me get myself some arm support here. It's still too close. I can't. I can't. Prop it up on something and hold it a different way. That's you, side. You've got an angle. That's come Sean, it's a leaning dashboard. What you gotta do, you got to hold it, just use the Lord Helper. What needs to happen is I need to turn this off until we get out the car, because I will break this camera. Y'all, right here says it all. <laughs> Said, yeah, it's gonna be a minute. Like 10 people in here. I knew this because the office has been shut down since December because they was updating their system or something. I knew I was not about to head into that courthouse because I knew it was going to be a madhouse because everybody worries about getting their tags done. Mom has got me hooked on Arby's cheeseburgers. 99% of the things I would rather eat food from the house, but when it comes for a cheeseburger if somebody's got a good cheeseburger it's a good cheeseburger and arby's cheeseburger is a good cheeseburger it's good sit back don't tell me what to do okay give me my burger all right you guys we're gonna do a little mukbang is that what it's called i know mukbang mukbang with gonna you guys eat. <laughs> the arby's that cheeseburger better not be the one you've already been eating out of it's the one we've both been eating out of. So you know what, here, I give you two fries back out of my box. Can I have my burger? They're cheesy bacon, what kind of beef is it? Like a, um, they wagyu? say wagyu, but wagyu beef? I, I'm skeptical about that. You know you're gonna need that. I just know it's a really good hamburger. It is a good burger, you guys. I was even a little sketchy about it, cause you know, Arby's burger well, I mean they're known for their meat that's pretty much the gist of it it's a big old thick patty mm. the sauce is different too it kind of reminds you a little bit of Big Mac sauce don't it in a roundabout way probably is it's sort of like Big Mac sauce I can't even buy, get my mouth around the whole thing is it double uh-uh, it's a single. Look, I already took a bit. That's one bite. <laughs> that is definitely Big Mac sauce. Close as it gets. It's so good, though. I've got you guys sat down for a minute because this camera is heavy. It is definitely not the camera we're used to vlogging with, but that's okay because this one is better quality. But I was going to tell you guys, I'm going to show y'all a dirty little secret of ours. After the flood, um, of course, we lost power for... Oh my gosh, nine days or so, you know, because of the chaos, we blanked out and totally forgot about our deep freezer. We ended up plugging it back in like the third day on the generator, but you know, the generator, oh my gosh, it was expensive to run. It was like $40 a day. So we cut it off, you know, certain hours throughout the day. But anyhow, in the bottom of that, um, our deep freeze is still some of that meat that it needs to go. So that is going to be a project either this week or next week now let's go take a look i need to look in the deep freezer and see where we're at and what we're working with are you two ready i'm ready you're ready let's go 
the sun is shining in Kentucky tonight. How long has it been since the sun's been out? When I tell you guys, it has been like two weeks since we have had a day of sun. I am not kidding. We got school done quick this morning and we are outside. It feels great. And we're going to stay outside as long as we can today because next week it is supposed to drop down into 7 degrees at night, 8 degrees at night, lots of snow. So we, we outside today. The plans is to get this cleaned out when Sean's going to the dump. There's a farm about 45 minutes from us. And once we get the deep freezer cleaned out, we're thinking we're going to go over there and stock up on okay. some meat. Here she is. Okay, now stuff like this... This is all still good. The stuff on top right here. All of that down. Okay, back up camera. All of that down there. All the way across the bottom has to go. So we can refill back up. I need to take that in the house and make us some smoothies. It's just the stuff on the bottom. That is project about to happen because when Sean goes to the dump. Uh oh, oh, Bubby, hold the door for sis. Thank you. Uh oh, you okay? Step down. Step down. Good job. So I just needed to look. So we've got about a foot of the deep freezer on the bottom that we gotta toss out. He's on a mission. He found his ball. That's a big truck. Yeah, I hear it. You wanna open the balls, bub? Ooh, look at there. You want to tell them your new word? Can you say peppermint? Mm. Hey, look at mom. Say peppermint. Mm. No, pepper. Mm. Peppermint. Mm. Please, can you help me, please? <sighs> Will you have that? Are you going to? I thought you was counting how many jumps. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to see my kids out in the sunshine jumping on the trampoline. It has literally been like two weeks since we've had any sunshine. Rainy, cold, and wet. I cannot even see. You could very well possibly be up my nose holes looking at all the hairs in my nose and I, I won't know. The sun is in my face. But anyhow, I was gonna tell you guys, this winter, we, we all take multivitamins, but I added a little extra vitamin D, and I'm telling you guys, it has made such a difference in all of our moods. We have all been so much happier. You know, when you go two weeks without getting any sunlight, like, we all need that vitamin D, and it's important. And I think the older I'm getting, I'm realizing just how important it is. We've, I've also bought mineral salt, sea salt, Celtic, Celtic salt, Celtic salt. Have been cooking with that a lot more, and I swear it has made a big difference as well. Love it, and I don't think I'll ever go back. I do still use table salt, you know, when I'm cooking like two, three days a week. I mix it up, but it's made a big difference, I feel like. They're arguing about who's going to slide. And there's a thread on the old chalk here. So what are you thinking? We need to remodel the inside of your playhouse. Um, what does this word say? 2023. Mom, Dad, Colton, and Chloe. Do you think it needs some new paint? Yeah. Maybe this spring we can get some paint. Ooh, what about some glow-in-the-dark paint? And then this summer, we could come up here at night and have popcorn. Dang. Hi. Dang. Paint. Paint. Dang. Mommy was thinking maybe this summer we could paint the inside of the playhouse with some glow paint. <gasps> yeah, it glows in the dark. Ah. Are you going to go fast too? Okay. Uh-uh, no pushing. Boo-boo. Yeah, boo-boo. Boo-boo. Okay, your turn, bub. Yeah. Go ahead. Yay! Good job. So what mom, listen, what mommy was saying is maybe this summer or spring we can paint the inside of this with glow-in-the-dark paint. 
And then we can come up here at night. You need some new Edison bulbs and we can eat popcorn and maybe watch a movie on the trampoline. We trampoline, but we also got to figure out where we're going to put the swimming pool this year. Yeah, we'll paint it this spring. Not right now. It's supposed to be like seven degrees at night next week, but I think we're going to revamp this place a little this summer. We put this down, you guys, and the flood literally came through that summer. It hadn't been up but a couple of months. All the water washing off of this came through here and lifted up most of that. You can see. It pushed out a bunch of this that we had to just, we got rid of it. But I think we're going to get most of this up and uh, haul it off and get rid of it. And I'm thinking I might be crazy for this. But maybe some sand in here or something else. I'm not a big fan of this, you guys. I want to change this. It hurts when you step on it barefoot. So, yeah. Yes. What? Huh? Bye. What are you talking about? Bang. Well, slide if you want to slide. Bang. We're not painting right now, babe. Oh. I said this summer. Oh. You guys, the wind came through here so hard, though. It was up to 50 miles an hour, the gusts were, but I was so afraid our trampoline was going to, f I mean, it obviously couldn't go too far, but I was so afraid our trampoline was going to fly away. I mean, it couldn't go far, obviously. Mama. We have oh, no. hillsides all around us, but it survived. It survived. So, yay. Yeah. 